Great morning. Hello, sir. Great morning. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hi, Mamali. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, sir. Good morning. Prakriti. Great morning. Dharma, great morning. Good morning, sir. Mr. Mohammed Hassan, great morning. Great morning, sir. Mr. Russell, great morning. Great morning, sir. Yeah, who's this? Shiva, great morning. Isha. Great morning, sir. Well, I hope everyone is uh, good. <laughs> Great morning, Mummy Cell. Rahina, great morning. Good morning, sir. Hi, sir. Good morning. Hi. Hilda, great to see you. Long time no see. <laughs> Hi, Mo. Great yeah. morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are Vijan, you? Vijan, great morning. So today is. Uh, which location? Adilia Nusa Mitia Sifron. Someone is missing, yeah. Mama Lynn, in your group. Sir, si Pedrito, pero papatok na daw siya. Okay. Papatok pa lang. Okay. Uh, great morning, Mr. Suhil. Hi, Mo Sam. Great morning. morning sir. Hello, sir. Great morning, Raju. Still handsome, ah? Come on, the real. Open your voice, Mr. Raju. Uh, Suraj, great morning. Oh, Baba Hanipa is here. Great morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Great morning. Okay. Hi, Dichen. Hello, sir. How are you? Very good. Uh, Mr. Pedrito, great morning. Hi, sir. Good morning. Uh, great to see you, Jacqueline. Great morning. Good, good morning. Oh, Mr. Morley. Great morning. Nice hair. Who else? You know, you know, one of them. Okay, hi, Madam Saina. Uh, hi, good morning. Great morning. Ima, great morning. Mom Cheryl, great morning. So now we will be. Uh, starting. So, great morning, everyone. So, today will be good morning, a very yeah. good morning, sir. Uh, informative uh, session. Okay. As in, like, we will be going to the new normal. Okay. So, what what you know about new normal when we say new normal? 
So who wants to share your thoughts about new normal? Some changes. Yes, Mommy Sel. Uh, some changes, sir. Some but, changes. Uh, yes. Okay. How about you, Mr. Pedrito? So what do you know about new normal? For me, sir, it's a uh, mm -hmm. new beginning. <laughs> uh, new, be <laughs> new beginning after yeah. the long wait, after the long rest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so new normal will be something like new from the regular routine that we have. Uh, the time before the uh, coronavirus, okay? The pandemic. Uh, <laughs> thing. So the time when we new went hours. for lockdown. So it means this will be a new way of life, okay? So there will be a lot of changes. The way you will be mingling with your friends or your colleagues or to the way we will serve our customers, okay? So it will really, really be totally new from the regular uh, life that we have before the uh, lockdown. So today I will be discussing uh, changes on how we're going to be working in the restaurant uh, after the lockdown. So most, uh, most of you already had applied the, uh, the, the permit, okay? Uh, so that you're gonna be able to uh, to travel outside even if uh, there's a temporary lockdown okay so stand by for the directions of your uh, restaurant managers and your area managers so by then uh, everything will be okay so you have nothing to worry don't think too much okay we will gonna be uh, able to survive perfectly at this stage okay so great morning mom sandy and mom cheryl uh, are you hearing me, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay. So now I will put everyone Good morning, on mute. Sir. Good morning, everyone. I will be putting everyone on mute mode. Okay. So. That's a good job of it. Morning, sir. Great morning, Mom Arla. Good morning, sir. Are you seeing the screen, Mom Arla? Empty, sir. Empty. Now, the curtain opens. Still, uh, still. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it open the curtain? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes, we can. Open oh, with sorry. virus. Okay, open sure. with virus. Virus. Okay. So, okay. <coughs> so for the uh, for the awareness of the uh, uh, the one who's uh, joining the session, so I'd like to inform everyone that uh, we are in uh, uh, recorded the. Uh, a video session so that if ever you miss the uh, uh, the sessions because sometimes other participants having problem uh, with their internet connection so you can either uh, review uh, the contents of the uh, module in uh, my uh, youtube channel so you can go there and then watch uh, all the recorded video sessions that we have so it's like a library uh, that I created so that all of our learners will be able to uh, access the recorded uh, training sessions. So like what I'm saying, our training sessions is part also of the new normal procedures after the lockdown period. So we will be having a little chance that we'll be seeing uh, each other in training uh, rooms, okay? So most of the time, our training sessions will be done <coughs> online. So I hope uh, everyone can be able to 
uh, immediately adapt to this uh, new system for the new normal procedures in our training sessions. Okay, so now. <coughs> So new normal restaurant food safety procedures and the COVID-19. So I will just be uh, having a slight uh, recap on what you have attended from Miss Cheryl's uh, session during the first week of our uh, lockdown. So what you should know about COVID-19. Okay, so novel coronavirus or the COVID-19 is a new virus that causes respiratory illness in people. So this virus was first identified in Wuhan, Hubei province, uh, China. So how, it, how is it spread? So it can be spread by coughing and sneezing. So close contact with people such as touching or shaking hands. Touching an object or surface that has the virus on it. Then touching your mouth, nose or eyes. So it can be spread when someone is coughing and sneezing. Okay, so that's why you are required to wear masks or the face shield. And then uh, close contact with people, such as touching or shaking hands. So that's why we eliminated the uh, shaking of hands when we are uh, greeting. So it means uh, we have to observe social distancing by at least uh, three feet apart or one meter apart or away from each other. Then the touching on the object or surface that has the virus on it. And then after you touch those objects or those surfaces, then you touch your mouth, nose, or eyes. So that's the time that the virus can be spread. Uh, team, kindly uh, mute uh, those audios who are still on at this point. Okay. So with regards to the COVID-19, so what are the symptoms if ever uh, you are infected by the one who's carrier of the COVID-19 virus? So the symptoms will be, you'll be having a fever. You are having a fatigue, dry cough, shortness of breath or difficulty on breathing severe illness, aches and pains. So these are the minor symptoms now. Runny nose, sore throat, and diarrhea. But the main thing or the major symptoms is when you're having a high fever, then fatigue and dry coughing and uh, <coughs> difficulty on breathing. The rest are the minor symptoms, but still, you don't need to be confident that uh, you are okay. So you need to uh, seek medical assistance in order for you to be uh, tested if you are a COVID uh, carrier. So the mandatory golden rules to be followed at all times by all food business operators. So we are uh, restaurant employees. So these are the golden rules that we need to follow when we resume for work, okay? Actually, this one is very uh, easy to follow, okay? That's why most cases, uh, people are getting negligent, okay? It's a simple steps, but most of you are, are not uh, taking it seriously, okay? So at this point, it will really be zero tolerance for everyone. So when you go back to your work, you really need to make it happen that you should uh, not care only for yourself, but for others. So it is a mandatory rule that you have to follow and comply. Okay, you're not doing this because you are afraid uh, to have a disciplinary action 
or you are afraid to get fined from the ministry, okay? So you're doing it for your own safety for the fact that COVID-19 has no vaccine yet, okay? So it means uh, day by day, uh, it's increasing the number of getting infected. So you have to be really taking it seriously on this call. So the first thing is wash hands at regular interval, okay? So as often as you can, you need to wash your hands at least 20 seconds and then you sanitize your hand before and after you will be wearing your protective uh, or your personal protective equipment such as uh, facial or face mask or face shield, gloves, okay? Or the protective gown. So use sanitizer regularly, keep safe distance or the one meter uh, apart, <clears throat> either you are at the uh, front of the house or your customer service area or in your workstation, so you need to observe social distancing. So sanitize all high or frequently touched points. So what are the symptoms of COVID-19? So the most common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, tiredness, and dry cough, like what I've mentioned earlier. So some patients may have aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, or diarrhea. So these symptoms are usually mild and begin gradually. Some people become infected but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Most people, about 80%, recover from the disease without needing a special treatment. Around one out of every six people who gets COVID-19 become seriously ill and develop difficulty breathing. So older people and those with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems, or diabetes are more likely to develop serious illness. So people with fever, cough, and difficulty breathing should seek medical attention. So how does COVID-19 spread? So people can catch COVID-19 from others who have the virus. The disease can spread from person to person through small droplets from the nose or mouth, which are spread when a person with COVID-19 cough or exhale. So these droplets land on objects and surfaces around the person. Other people then catch COVID-19 by touching these objects or surfaces, then touching their eyes, nose, or mouth. People can also catch COVID-19 if they breathe in droplets from a person with COVID-19 who coughs out or exhales droplets. This is why it's important to stay more than one meter away from a person who is sick. So is COVID-19 airborne, okay? So does it stays longer in the air? So it means the virus that causes COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets generated when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or speaks. These droplets are too heavy to hang in the air. So that's why it's not an airborne uh, virus. They quickly fall on floors or surfaces. So you can be infected by breathing in the virus if you are within one meter of a person who has COVID-19 or by touching a contaminated surface and then touching your eyes, nose, or mouth before washing your hands. <coughs> The coronavirus can live for hours to days on surfaces like countertops and doorknobs. How long it survives depends on the material the surface is made from. So here's a guide to how long coronaviruses, the family of viruses that include the one that causes COVID-19 can live on some of the surfaces you probably touch every day. So keep in mind that researchers still have a lot learned about the new coronavirus. 
but you're probably more likely to touch it from being around someone who has it than from touching a contaminated surface. So let's say contact surfaces. That's why we are requiring you to have the uh, frequency of cleaning and sanitation of your workstations or any surfaces that you are frequently touching. Okay, so it means you really need to have it done in our hourly basis. So let's say if it's metal, so let's say the viruses uh, uh, was on the metal surfaces like doorknobs, jewelry, silverware, it will last for five days. So wood, which is furniture, deckings, four days. So anything related to plastics or um, plastic uh, materials like milk containers, detergent bottles, subway and bus seats, backpacks, elevator buttons. So it means it will last for two to three days. So the, the surfaces that I am telling, if you are going to be increasing the frequency of sanitizing it, at least in an hourly basis, so bigger chances that you're going to kill the spread of the virus on that surface. Okay, so you have to really think it seriously and then take it seriously for you to execute the required uh, cleaning and sanitations of all this. So stainless steel like refrigerators, pots and pans, sinks, some water bottles, it means two to three days. So cardboard, these are the material of your packaging. So those are the boxes, okay, of your goods. So it will last for 24 hours. So copper like pennies, tea kettles, cookware, four hours. Aluminum, so the cans, tin foil, water bottles, so two to eight hours. Glass, like drinking glasses, measuring cups, mirror, windows, five days. So ceramics like dishes, pottery, mugs, five days. Mail, newspaper, the length of time varies. Some strains of coronavirus live for only a few minutes on paper, while others live up to five days. So food, take out or produce, coronavirus doesn't seem to spread through food. So, but it doesn't mean you will be disobeying the guidelines and procedures in handling uh, take out or produce products like vegetables. So you really need to uh, wash it uh, by uh, running uh, water. Okay. So for water, coronavirus has not been found in drinking water. If it does get into the water supply, your local water treatment plant filters and disinfects the water. So we should kill any germs. So it means if, our, if the supplier of your water is following the guidelines on water treatment. So then we have nothing to worry about the water that we are drinking. So fabrics like our clothes, linens, there's not much research about how long the virus lives on fabric, but it's probably not as long as on hard surfaces. Guys, are you still okay? Yes, sir. Thumbs yes, up if you are okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Touch your head yes, if you are not okay. No, no. So everyone is okay. <laughs> 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 or touch this one if you are not okay. Maybe you have a fever. Okay? No, sir. Okay, so let's continue. <clears throat> So is there a vaccine drug treatment for COVID-19? So not yet. Up to this time, there is no vaccine and no specific antiviral medicine to prevent or treat COVID-19. So however, those affected should receive care to relieve symptoms. People with serious illness should be hospitalized. Most patients recover thanks to supportive care. Possible vaccines and some specific drug treatments are under investigation. They are being tested through clinical trials. 
World Health Organization is coordinating efforts to develop vaccines and medicines to prevent and treat COVID-19. So the most effective ways to protect yourself and others against COVID-19 are to frequently clean your hands, cover your cough with a bend of elbow or tissue, and maintain a distance of at least one meter from who, from people who are coughing and sneezing. So these are the major measures that you really need to apply when you are outside your room. Okay, so either you are mingling with other people, so maintain the distance of at least one meter. And be cautious for those people around you. Are they coughing? Are they looking like uh, they are sick? Okay, or not well? So it means you really need to take care, not only for yourself, but for others as well. Okay, so today we will be discussing all the new normal procedures that you need to apply when you come back for work. So the new normal uh, restaurant food safety procedures, okay? So these are the activities that we're gonna be uh, introducing to all of you. So it means like what we are doing today, so everyone has to understand COVID-19, which already did by Mom Cheryl uh, the last uh, time or last month when we started the uh, lockdown. So, but at this point, so I'm just giving you the recap of what Mom Cheryl did, okay? So through, through Zoom training sessions. So it means it will be attended also by the operations team restaurant manager, manager in charge, assistant restaurant manager, restaurant supervisor, service crew, and steward. So it means it's for everyone's mandatory course that you really need to complete attending two Zoom sessions, and then you will be having a certification test to, uh, to have it after a few days. So the restaurant manager, let's say, if ever during the assessment period of the trainers or the QC personnel, so it means the restaurant manager is the one who has to have the recap session for the whole team. <clears throat> so we will be certifying all employees, okay? for all position title. So you have to complete the required attendance for the required module. So today you are here. So you will be having the attendance. So you have to get a minimum rating of 90% for knowledge assessment through Q&A. Okay, so it can be done on floor, it can be done on phone call, or it can be done in Zoom, okay? So like what we are saying, uh, training department also will be going to the new normal uh, procedures. So we will be minimizing uh, contact or face-to-face -face contact with our employees. So it means it will be done online. So get a minimum rating for the certification test, 90%. Then get a minimum rating of 90% on the in-store assessment for compliance on standard procedures through restaurant training audit. So just to remind everyone, so we have nine minutes left for the first, uh, first cut of our session. So you will just be using the same meeting ID and password for the next cut of our session. So your restaurant manager, same with the operations team and same with the trainers. So we will be conducting video recording of your execution on the new normal procedures in your store. So please be reminded that we are on the uh, first week 
of executing the new normal procedures. So it is very important that we really need to document uh, everything so that we can assure that everyone will be uh, safe. So it means don't be offended if someone is recording your procedure because these recorded videos will be used on uh, making the one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching with your uh, team. So either your restaurant manager or your uh, shift manager or even one of us trainers will be doing the video recording of your compliance with regards to this. So let's say if you are working in the kitchen, so we will be making video on, on the executed procedures so that we can highlight before we leave, we can highlight uh, your uh, action with regards to that. I cannot hear anything. Your, your vo yeah, your voice is gone long time. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Ricky. Bye. Uh, it's good. Uh, it's good, uh, Mo, you're able to, to inform me. Okay. So, how is it now? Okay. Is my audio okay. now okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. No. So, uh, like what I'm saying, video recording. So, we're going to be having video recording of your uh, executed. It is not something like we're spying on you or the video will be used against you. No. The objective of video recording, because this is a new procedure or new normal procedures, so our objective to record or your manager's objective to record it is so that when they will be making coaching, so it will be very easy for you to understand uh, what he meant on corrective action. So in-store visit report to be sent to operations team copying the CEO office and the deputy group CEO office and require the RM to send his action plan within 24 hours of receiving the report by mail. So like what we are saying, we are aiming that everyone has to really make sure that everything is being executed according to this protocol, okay? So it means you really have to make it happen uh, for the safety of everyone so that we can uh, early end this uh, pandemic, okay? So you have to make sure that when you come and report for work, you really comply 100% uh, to this. And whenever uh, I encourage you Whenever you have someone working with you in your workstation, okay? So either your colleagues or your supervisor or your manager, you have to remind your colleagues and even your manager that uh, we have the new normal procedures that we really need to comply, okay? Including myself, let's say if ever, or my team ever visited your location, and then there's no face mask being worn. So you have to remind us, uh, Ricky, uh, please, your face mask, okay? So we don't want uh, to offend anyone. We have to be thankful because we really care uh, with each other. So it is everyone's responsibility at this point, okay? So it is not a matter of either you are manager, you are excused not to wear face mask or any uh, uh, precautions, uh, measures that you really need to uh, to execute, okay? So it is everyone's responsibility at this point. So the report will be sent to your <coughs> operations team, uh, to the CEO and the dep deputy group CEO office. And the restaurant manager, uh, to send this action plan within 24 hours of receiving the report.
So Ma'am Sandy will be distributing job aids to all locations uh, to post on designated areas like hand washing and sanitation procedure reminder. So reminder for wearing mask, reminder for social distancing. Uh, for the social distancing, you will be having also you know, the counter service area. Like when you go to supermarket, so you'll be having a sticker on floors uh, reminding you for social distancing. So reminder for staying at home if sick, okay. How to wear and remove a face mask, how to wear and remove gloves. So those job aids also will be uploaded. Uh, same with the training materials, checklists, guidelines, and same thing with this uh, presentation will be uh, uploaded in Jolt. So the next is whenever you will be coming at your restaurant, so there will be a rubber mat with disinfectant. So you will be disinfecting your shoes before entering the restaurant premises. This one is for everyone. So both of your entrance door uh, will be having a rubber mat with disinfectant so that your shoes will be disinfected. So it will go for your customers or whoever external employees who will be reporting to your location, okay? Including uh, drivers, uh, warehouse drivers, okay? And customers. So upon arrival in the restaurant, the manager on duty has to take the body temperature of all the employees and record it on the tracking sheet. So there will be a tracking sheet which is mandatory for you to log uh, those uh, body temperature of everyone, either uh, your employees or uh, people who is visiting your location uh, for business or even your customers. So there will be a log sheet provided to you. <clears throat> so do not send the employee to housing accommodation if ever there is a uh, above 37 degree uh, Celsius body temperature and uh, if you're suspecting that he is sick. So it means you will not go back to your accommodation. So you will be immediately sent to the clinic. Okay, so let's say uh, if tomorrow uh, Mam China uh, has 39 degree Celsius body temperature, so she will not go back to her housing. Okay. So she will be sent right away to uh, the clinic for COVID test. <clears throat> so wash hands and sanitize before wearing the required PPE, or we call this personal protective equipment, like face mask, face shield, protective gown, and gloves. So you will be required to wash your hands 20 seconds, by the antimicrobial soap and then sanitize after before you wear your PPE or the personal protective equipment. So it is mandatory before you do that. So face mask and face shield to be mandatory worn by frontliner employees like our sales team and manager or supervisor or service crew as long as they are <coughs> indirect contact with customers. But for those